We can rise to the occasion. We can build this nation moving forward. All that we need, visionary leadership, people who love their people, people who love the citizens, people who love the country, and that we can rise. We can fly again. Hope Restoration Ministries, restoring hope to our world. Welcome to our broadcast. Enjoy. This series of dream, praise the name of Jesus. And I've come up with a, 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 a topic for today as we close this series of dream. And then my subtopic this afternoon simply says, dream and act like God. Look at the person next to you and say, dream and act like God. Look at the other one who is showing more energy and say, dream and act like God. Praise the name of Jesus. Look at the person next to you and say, we're going to have a good time this morning. Now, I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to give you the nuggets, you know, that you need this morning. Have you seen those pictures, those movies? As the movie begins, they even show you the end of the movie, how the movie is going to end at the beginning. Have you seen those type of movies? And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you your nuggets right in the beginning of the sermon. Can I give it to you this morning, this afternoon? Here is the first nugget. Here is the first nugget, your take, your take away. You are not average nor ordinary. I'm talking to you. You are not average nor ordinary. You have been custom made. You are God's masterpiece. Some of you don't believe that. I want to tell you straight away, if you are still waiting for the verse, sit here right now. You are not an, an average person. You are not just an ordinary person. Where now you are God's masterpiece. Young tall, you, you have been designed for a purpose by God himself. Never forget that. Remember, we are talking about dream and, and act like God. We are going somewhere. But for now, grab these nuggets. Number two, don't lose who you are amidst chaotic circumstances. Did you hear what I said? Don't lose who you are in the midst of chaotic circumstances. You know, sometimes life will throw things at us and we forget who we are because of what is happening around us. We begin to identify ourselves based on what happened to us. You are not what happened to you. Are you with me? The, the truth is that life just happened. You are not what happened to you if you have gone through a divorce. Don't ever define yourself based on what happened to you. Never allow the outside circumstances to define you. Am I helping somebody? Don't ever lose who you are. Many people have lost themselves because of the outside circumstances. Not even a divorce, not even betrayal must make you to lose who you are. In the midst of all these things, make sure you still know who you are. Number three, here's the nugget number three. When you undervalue who you are, the world will undervalue what you do. When you undervalue who you are, the world will undervalue what you do. Let me simplify it in this way. Never discount yourself no matter what. If you discount yourself, people will never even trust what you are giving unto them. From nowhere, I'm a halaji. Unga telangi is counted to no, 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 fifty percent off. Ma kwenzi njala. But I'm talking to you. Never discount yourself. You know there are people who have just discounted themselves. Umu vya buya pewa angosi am is into felesi. It's very easy to get things from this person. My dear girl, don't be that type of a person. Don't discount yourself. You have this into ba fanye ba itolegansi maguwe. Don't discount yourself. The people, people, ma, people must work hard. They must work hard. Look at the person next and say, please don't discount yourself. You are not that cheap way, no man. No, no, you But the truth is, if we if you don't value yourself, nobody's gonna value you. Because it is you who has discounted yourself. So don't be surprised when people offer you less because this is how you have marketed yourself. Mm. Mm. Nugget number four. Nugget number four. Listen to me. You get in life what you have the courage to pursue. 
You get in life what you have the courage to pursue. Things will never be given to you. You need to, to be courageous. You need to pursue them. You need to fight for them. Are you, are you with me? Because you don't get things just like that. Some great things, things of value, they would need you. They would need you to pursue them. And then let me put this together with the, the quote, Yaga Max Lucado. Uti, be careful what you think because your thoughts, they run your life. If you think less of yourself, this is how people will look at you and this is what you'll become. You are what you are thinking about. You are what you are thinking about. But remember, I'm going somewhere here. My topic says you need to dream and act like God. That is why I'm giving you these things. Because most of us, we can't dream and act like God because of the way we think. We think so small of ourselves. We think so small in our environment to a point that we can't even act like God because our mind and our thinking system, you know, somebody has tempered with it. And we are not able to unleash what God has deposited in the inside of us because our thinking is messed up. I think the last one, the last one. Oh no, that's true. The forces of darkness cannot hold its victims forever. It will make sense very, very soon. I'm saying the forces of darkness cannot hold its victim forever. If you dream like God and then you act like him, there is no force that can hold you forever. As a matter of fact, even if you have not come to that level where you dream like God, you act like God, the truth of the matter, they, there's no force that can keep you down for the rest of your life. Or maybe let me declare to you to say, there's no force that will keep you down for the rest of your life. I don't care. You might be under an influence. I don't care. You might be under an addiction. But listen to me at the sound of my voice. I'm saying to you, there is power in the blood. There is power in the name of Jesus. Whatever the, the circumstances that you are in, in the name of Jesus, those powers will never hold you down forever. You might be under bondage, but I declare in the name of Jesus, you can gonna come out of that you're gonna come out of that you're gonna come out of that addiction you're gonna come of that drug in the name of Jesus because the devil does not have power over you for the rest of his life because I know the Lord will deal with you Ah, one day was a figure loud sober. Look at the person next to you. Look at the person and say, Muru, I understand. You are still under the influence. But you're not going to be there for the rest of your life. I declare in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. I, 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 I'm dreaming like God and then I'm acting like God. In the midst of circumstances, in the midst of the chaos that you are in, I am dreaming like God and I know something will come out. Let me just give you this one for free. God doesn't care how many likes you get. He cares how much you become like him. Did you hear what I said? God doesn't care how many likes you get. He cares how much you become like him. Many people, they wake up in the morning, I want to check how many likes. I want to check how many people are saying about this. How many, yo, I've got several li hundred likes. People are liking me. God does not care about what people are saying about you in a Facebook. They don't care. He does not care what they're saying about you. Go Twitter. Let me tell you. into a concern. When are you going to dream and act like me? When are you going to dream and to become like me? Because when you are a child of a God, you are a child you know, created by God himself. An elephant gives birth to an elephant. God gives birth to a God. When you are not just an ordinary person. When you are not just an ordinary person. You need to understand when you look at yourself and say, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I have been created in the image of God. When are you going to become like me? You have settled for less. You have settled for less. I am actually looking forward where you're going to begin 
to dream and act like me because I'm the God of the universe. I'm the creator of the universe. I can say things and things will become. I am waiting for you to step into that position where you begin to exercise your power as a God on this planet Earth. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? You are not an ordinary person. Those statements will make sense now. But before I read Genesis chapter 1, because I'm taking you into the book of the beginnings. Genesis chapter 1. Chapter 1. But, but before we even read there, there are five forces that I want you to, to observe or to identify in this scripture. While we read, there are these five forces that I want you to see. The first force that I want you to see is the force of darkness. You will see that as we read, there was a force of darkness. Number two, there's a force of light in this scripture. Number three, there's a force of waters. You will see that there's another force. It's called the force of waters. The force of dry land. There will be a force. These are the things I want you to see as we read. And not only that, you will see the force of God's spirit in this scripture that we are going to read this this afternoon. But above all that, in these forces, you need to dream and act like God. Praise the name of Jesus. Are you ready to read with me? Are you ready to read with me? Now, Genesis chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 1 to verse 4 and we'll skip to verse 9 to verse 11. Or to verse 4 of chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, verse 2 says, the earth was without form. Okay. The earth was without form and void. The other translation says the earth was without shape. And listen, here is the force, first force. And darkness was on the face of the deep. That is the force that was operating in that space. Are you with me? But in the midst of that force, listen what the Bible says. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. I pray and I declare, Bazalwan. Oh, if there's a darkness over your life, even right now, may the Spirit of God right now, in that confusion, in that state that you are in, may the Spirit of God, another force, another force, begin to move around your spirit. So it says the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Oh my goodness me. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided. Now, I want you to see something. And God divided the light from the darkness. You know, we read this scripture, sometimes we read it without understanding. Now, when the Bible says God divided the light from the darkness. What does that mean? It's like the light and the darkness in this scripture, they were in the same place. But God being God, you know what he did, Basalwane? He separated the two. He separated the two. My goodness me. He said, light, you begin, you belong here. Darkness, you belong there. For your life to make sense, my dear, for your life to have direction, you cannot mix the light and the darkness because you will end up in a chaos. You will end up in a chaotic environment. You must be able to identify, to say this is the thing of darkness. This is the force of darkness. Let me separate darkness. Listen, I'm not attacking anybody, but what I'm saying to you, no wonder separate. Dream and act like God. Bamba. Listen to what verse 9 says. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place. See what God is doing. And let the dry land appear. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can look from that verse. Can you see that there's a dry land here? 
But the dry land, it's covered by what? By waters. And now what God is doing, he's gathering together waters into one place. And he says, let's allow what? The dry land to come forth. will never come forth until other people, their future and their bright dreams are covered by waters. But before they can see things happening in their lives, they need to gather the waters and allow what is dry to come forth. Because normal in there is always something that is dry. Bamba, that thought, we are coming back. Let me not just go ahead of myself. Silana, when I'm saying dream and act like God, the big question is, Pastor, how can I dream and act like God? I'm glad you have asked that question. How can I dream and act like God? Number one, listen, you need to light, light up in the midst of darkness. Unkulungul, before you could do anything, he said, let it be light. You need to have clarity. You need to bring light in your environment. Are you with me, child of God? Many of us want to build our future, but we are still in the darkness. You cannot build, you cannot, you know, build something and and advance in life while you are still in darkness. You need to bring clarity. Where are you going? God could not build things in darkness. First of all, you need the revelation of God in your life. Light simply means the revelation of God, God's understanding. There are many people who want to build their life, but they are in darkness. They don't know God. They don't have the light of God. They are trying their best. They don't understand why my things are failing. Because you have left behind the creator of the universe, the light of the world. Allow Christ Jesus to bring light in your mind because if you can bring that light in your mind you'll be able you know to build because if there's no light you cannot differentiate between wrong and right how do you see wrong and right while you are in darkness so God could not build but he started by saying let it be light I pray in your mind, in your, in your system, in your family, in the name of Jesus. May the good God bring that light in your life. Listen to me, here's a statement here. Your existence brings a light into this world like no other. Keep the light shining, even yourself, right in your family. For your family to begin to build a brighter future, you need to begin to be a light. Your family is depending on you because you are the salt and the light of the world. Your company, to, for your company to be successful, you need to see yourself as a light. Are you a child, child of God? Number one. Now, number two, here is something, how to dream and act like God. Number two, you need to speak order in the midst of confusion. You need to speak order in the midst of confusion. My, my statement simply says, separate good from the evil. Separate good from evil. You must be able to do that. God said here, let the waters, you know, be gathered together into one. Bamba, if you are writing down, don't let one thing flood your whole life. Don't let one thing to flood your whole life if you want to dream and act like God. And I'll give you a simple illustration. You've got somebody here You have been hurt by one man. You have been hurt by one man. But now you are flooding everybody because of one event. You have come to a point where you call Amatota Izinja, Banagidinja. In J1, I mean one one person. One person has messed you up. Now all of us, Sesi Izinja, Basadi Gidinoha, in your one, I mean one woman. One woman who has messed you up. Now you are allowing everybody to be covered by water. Are you with me? Never do that in life. You must be able, you know, to separate things. It was this man. Yes, I was hurt by this man. But surely there are still good men out there. 
Monga call on Tanami Ladela Mina, as I said, corner my daughter right. As I said, corner my daughter right. Umonga stop and say, Lento Leo, and open your eyes, you'd realize that a corner my daughter Lungele, a corner Bantuana Babantuba corner by Lungele, by Fanano Matebula Shem Bonasi Lungel and Jan, Tina Bacona, Amatota right. Listen to me, yes, sir, you have been betrayed. Yes, she has left you. You, you are hurt where you are. But don't allow the waters to cover everything. Separate the two. And say it was so and so who hurt me. But they are still good women out there. Or maybe I should say, they hurt you somewhere. But they are still good women. I hope restoration. Oh, look around. Let me give you an opportunity to look around. There are still good women here. Yes, somebody has hurt you here, but there are still good women right here. Maybe the one who has hurt you is also in this church. But you're not going to allow one person. I say, long send them to Because sometimes you, 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 you look at our status, we have left church, not God. <laughs> We, we've just left church, not God. And you're trying to, 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 to understand, what are you saying? And we say, no, 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 no. You know, it, it is because people are hating us. So we still love God, but we cannot handle, we cannot handle God's people. You are generalizing your uncle. And then, Abazaluan banality pilitempi. Abonumutu. Isondo labazaluane. Lingolili sondo labazaluane. Entrisuasim. Umbuzo amuti. Abenga kabazaluane. How many did you interview? Umotuan entrisuasim. Abenga kabazaluane. Abenga kabazaluane. You must learn to separate things. Are you with me? The person who has hurt you here, it's your boss. It's your boss. Don't bring the matters, you know, as a same seven zini, better who is later like Kaya. Leave the matters at work. You have been offended at work. You have been stressed at work. Learn to put order in your life. The problem why many people can't succeed, it is because you can't bring order in your life. You cannot separate things and say, this is things from the work, and I'm not going to take, you know, the offense from work and bring it to my wife. Hey, listen to me, sir. Leave your stuff at work. Don't put this stuff over your wife at home. Learn to separate things. Look at the person and say, well, I'm going to profit as well. You see, separate the two. That's how God operated here. That's what God did here. He said, let the waters be gathered, you know, into one place. And allow the dry land to come forth. Now, number three, dream and act like God. How do you do that? You need to find value in the midst of chaos or in the midst of chaotic you know environment find value this is exactly what god is doing here in the midst of waters in the midst of chaotic environment you know it does not say just water but waters plural waters but god begins to call a dry land utu jehovah let the dry land lalamba i don't know if this makes sense to you how can you have a dry land you know, in the midst of waters. But God is calling a dry land. My point here is simple. I'm saying to you, you need to find value, you know, in the midst of chaotic environment. This is your role and this is your responsibility. You know, as a parent, you know, sometimes we can write off our children because of the waters that are covering them and we end up not seeing a value in them. But a true parent will actually put the waters aside and say, I want to embrace, you know, the value that is in the inside of you. Don't allow your children to be buried, you know, in the waters because you don't allow the dry land to come out. Our role as leaders our role as parents, our role as a community, in the midst of it all, we still call forth, we still call forth the dry land, we still see the value, the value in the midst of the waters. Your husband is not that bad. If you can, if you can see beyond, 
Your husband is not that bad. If you can move the waters. Too much water all over. Mount we are up a man's, Mount we are man's. But in the midst of it all, if you can focus, you can still pick up that dry land. There are other things that the devil has not tempered with in the lives of these people. There are other things that God has not touched. It's a dry land in the midst of water. And you and I, we need to search for that and say there's a dry land and you call forth that thing. Don't concentrate only on the waters. Look at your wife very closely. You can tell she may not have children. She may not be the best woman ever. But if you can focus carefully, there is value right there in that person. Am I speaking to somebody? Can I encourage a parent? Can I encourage somebody? Your child probably is into drugs. Your child maybe is running with boys out there. Don't ordain them into that circumstances, into that situation. Don't call her a prostitute. Prophesy over them. Sometimes Baza Vela Vela Dagi, when Mina Ben Vela Engine, Velentin Dagi, Dagi, Atumawam Nangum Uspi, Nangu Christopher, because Christopher simply means Christ bearer. At here is the Nid Dagi, well, so scatty, but she is prophesying. She is prophesying over my life. Get him in a, don't just, uh, you know, say what you see, but you must speak uh, what you want to see over their lives because there is power. Go away. You are not just an ordinary person. Uma kulumizinto, we na zienzega, goba ungungulungule mshabeni esmolchi wena. Am I helping somebody here? Now look at the fourth one here. The Bible in verse 11, it says, Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seeds, the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind. Now this takes me to point number four. Be fruitful when the stage is set. Be fruitful when the stage is set. Are you aware that if the waters were not moved, the dry land would not come forth. And if the dry land did not come forth, there will be no vegetation. There will be no grass. God is able to call forth the grass. He's able to call forth, call forth the fruits. For the first time now, there is color in this environment because God decided to move the waters and he called forth, you know, the dry land. And now the dry land becomes a stage for the fruits to come forth. Yes. Let me put it to you, Basile. Some of us, because we don't want to move. Ubaba was 70, was 70, he's 70 years old. God was say pilongom jolo. Because the dry land should be your children, should be the next generation. But just because you don't want to move the waters, six years go to Mjolusa Pete, Ushezipezuwe, future and the success Yabantuanabako. They cannot come forth because when they are trying to come forth, Ushezuwe. Don't deprive yourself. Or don't deprive the next generation while you are busy nursing the waters in your life. The moment you are nursing the waters in your life, you are delaying the future, your blessing and your children's blessing. But the moment you move out of the way, 
the moment is lezinto, gunama vegetation. And this vegetation, the beauty of it, they are not just benefiting them, but they're going to benefit you who have actually moved out of the way. When you move out of the way, it's not that you are delaying, you know, yourself or you are depriving yourself a blessing. It's like running a relay. You know what you do, Bazalwane? You know, on the first take, on the first take, you run your part. After that, you give it to somebody. The thing that you need to do after giving it to somebody, you must move out of the way. Let the second runner run. Are you with me? Let the second runner run. That is how you do life. Don't trip them. Dream and act like God. To move the waters, it's not easy. It's not easy. But we need to fight, all of us. We need to fight. Waters has a tendency. But you keep on fighting. Because you know what is it that you want to come forth. Is this a good word? Is this a good word? Look at the last two. Look at the last two. You need to think generational. You need to think generational. If you're going to dream and act like God, God is a generational God. He is a generational God. He says, you know, the, the fruit, the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. So it was so. Tunkulunkulu, after doing that, when the stage was set, he says, now I want these trees, you know, to produce fruits and the fruits with the seed in the inside. He's a generational God. He says, whatever I create, it must not just end here. Even when somebody consumes that, that fruit, he must release the seed. Are you with me? So that the seed can be planted for the next generation. The problem with the body of Christ is that we've got Christians who are like seedless grapes. Seedless grapes. Seedless grape leaders in this country. I want to tell you, seedless grapes, they were never created by God. It was never the design of God. Anything that does not have seed was not of God. It was created by people. Because people, they just want to consume everything. But God, God wanted to make sure that when you eat that fruit, while you take a bite, there must be something that must trouble you. There's something that must a, a, a temper, temper, you know, with your taste. So that it, remind, it must remind you, oh, by the way, there's a seed here that must be planted. But when you have a seedless Grape leader. Convenient. They are in that position. For the sake of the people, I look at them and say, here goes the seedless grape leaders. Woe to the country that has seedless grape leaders. They can't even think of the next generation. They cannot even tell you the dream. What's going to happen in the next 10 years? We have a beggar and Job on it. La, she's thinking. And don't look at the political space only. Even in the church, you've got pastors with the same attitude. Everything must revolve around them. They don't think of the future. For the past fifteen years, we have been collecting a, a, a building fund. But there's no foundation. I beg you. There's no land. But so all of 15 years. Imali Esakio. Imali Esakio. Imali Esakio. And it is him who keeps on changing cars. Changing cars. Year in and year out. You are a seedless grape pastor. Now listen to this statement. As I'm about to close. Generational mandate cannot be accomplished by instant gratification mindset. This attitude of saying, instant gratification, as long as I'm feeling good now, you will never change the world with that type of an attitude. And it's a mentality that is among us black folks. I couldn't pride. Adam 
if they want to have a better life. Really? You want your children to start where you have started? To suffer like you? Me suffer like me to pay the land. Now I'm in front of you to pay the land. Uh-uh. Not somebody who dreams and acts like God. If you want to dream and act like God, you need to talk like him. Your children must never suffer. But one of them must never suffer like that. I am believing God. I am believing God. I am believing God that when my children get married or when they step into another life, I'm believing God that I will bless them with the house. And you know what does that mean? I am giving them a 20 years of their life ahead. They'll be ahead of their peers in a 20 years and say, here is the house. When are you can't wait? Oh, oh, Lindy Lamalobol. Miss Abacomba. I guess as Osha Malobol is Abacomba. Umtane to Fundile, Umtane to Fundes and Fun. Oh, what Umtana Funda? Now Umtana loves the Lobol and I, oh, Fundil. When Kabang to Waku Fundile Pen. Now you are charging a certain amount of money. You know, I remember Sio Lobola and Dom Fana Dona in the family. Must feel all up a Lobabong and Anazin, Unazin, only one at Funa sixty thousand. What is sixty thousand, Si Funala? Mampe, Unazin, only one. Mampe, Mata, I got you, Matan, I got you. Ben Kalukus, Una, you in sixty thousand. Una, you in sixty thousand. Go account here, go now, you win. It's 60,000. Oh. What's the long of the business? Long, so shut them Some other marriages, the challenge of with the crack. Who fell into open a crack, Zasuga. Um, to so who shut in this, I keep home. If you go in this, you have good bangers of funny million, got 120,000. Una, you win. Oh, I suga. To my lamin and fanagate, my fun your lobola come to me. Minam so humble, no global as I'll beg twenty thousand and you to Fazer at Aetua, a Siabuya, Snigas and Fazi, Siabuit. That's it. Osier, leave us alone. We still have a life to build here. Hallelujah. Finally, you need to celebrate. You need to celebrate your achievements as you change. You know, when you read the scripture, the Bible says after God created this, he looked and said, this is beautiful. This is good. This is good. When he, 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 he called the light forth, he said, this is good. When the waters were divided, he said, this is good. When the dry land came forth, he said, this is good. Don't wait until your dream has come, you know, to fulfillment uh, at once or at the end for you to celebrate. Celebrate in stages. The little achievement, celebrate them, Tanam. The little achievement, celebrate them. Be like God. Don't wait until you have it all. Are you with me? If you move into a one room, you know, and then celebrate No me and walk. You move to the two bedroom house, celebrate Don't wait until you are there. And above all that, don't wait for somebody to tell you, oh, it is good. We have one. If you get an answer, I'm saying I want to move on. Tell you, um, gummy, um, I say, I tell you, I look young and you look like my father. I said, I don't care. <laughs> That's what you said. I'm rep- <laughs> what did you say? Exciting, Jelly Langit, not to look even look slim. Madam Major, tell you. That does not trouble me. Because I don't wait for somebody to tell me, oh, you're looking good. If you're going to wait for somebody to tell you that you're looking good, before she even told me, exhale, already I looked at myself on the mirror. I said, I tat am fanagamatim. I went. Jesus. Tata. Uma Eza gave me at you looking slim. I didn't want to disappoint her, but in the inside I said, I know. I, 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 I know. Praise the name of Jesus. My point is simple. Celebrate. Celebrate yourself, my dear. Celebrate. Celebrate. Don't allow the waters. Don't allow the waters.
to cover everything. Dream and act like God at all times. Come on, stand on your feet this morning and give God praise. And give somebody a high five and tell them keep on dreaming. Keep on acting like God. Keep on dreaming. Keep on acting like God and give God a big hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Was that good? Was that good? Father, we thank you that you are God and there is no one like you. Fanelo is born, Gobabo, Fanelo Tumo, Fanelo Paganiswa, Uncle Sam Bessing and Suga Gwe CAP, Gobamas Rock Pila Gowe, Siabonga Somanda, that even in the midst of waters, you can still see value in us. When we're in darkness, my Father, when we're in the midst of chaos, Father, your spirit was moving around. Your spirit, mighty Father, was moving around in the name of Jesus to fix us and to find us, to bring order. Even right now, the Spirit of God is moving around this place. There's a force of God that is moving.